Obviously, at this point in time, we know that Ms. Lalinda must have decided to go to the streets of social media, Instagram, to be exact to respond to Umusa Kaula harshly. Now, Ayiko Indabolapo, the problem is how now Twitter reacted to her response to Umusa Kaula, wherein we get to know that the money that she's talking about, that I have been exposed to money at an early age, this has to do with her previously sugar daddy by the name of zippo guys i am just flabbergasted don't ask me the meaning of the word i don't know but it fits in so apparently um oh um, as i'm going through the streets of social media in uh twitter to be exact came across this person called i don't care who are saying that oh michali has been picked up at school by a sugar daddy so it's got nothing to do with if family i'm in a mali don't it's got nothing to do it's got nothing to do with that and apparently this person is saying that um Michelle's mother has been dating different Nigerians. Obviously, that is why she's got access to money. Please just forgive the background noise. It's Easter. You know them get them kids what they do. But anyway, I'm just a bit worried that as a nation, why are we coming to people's families? And I think when she was responding to Umasa Kaula, she was just saying that stop involving my family into whatever whatever business that you want to involve in talk to me if you want to talk to me and i feel like it was relevant why would you want to be talking about somebody else's mothers but hey did the teacher not forget saying that in fact your mother is so after all has been said and done i just want to hear from you ladies and gentlemen do you think that it was within her right to respond and defend her mother and do you think that is necessary for us that when we drag people we also include their families their mothers their kids and dogs and everything around it let me know sometimes in a very heated argument with your man just pulling your hair like this and do this girl can you